Alrighty, welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left off last time, we were doing ruling things, it's going to be a bit before our next major thing. Uh, looking through my inventory, we have exactly one missing ring fragment, one missing leather scrap, one missing bracers, and our goal is to go find them in this video. So I do have a list of where they are located. Let's see if we can figure out which ones were missing. So we're going to start with the shards, or sorry, the fragments of the Forest Knight's Bracers. And let's go take a look here. Alright, so. I'm going to just move this window. We have the one from the Lone House. So we've done that one. I'm almost certain that's the first one there. Okay, we've got the Lone House one. Uh, Swamp Witch's Hut. Should I just do this top to bottom? Okay, so first of all, ford across the Skunk River. Let's see if we have that one. Troll Wilderness, Ruined Watchtower, Hunting Grounds, Swap Witch's Hut, Bodeg Lair, Lizardfolk Village, Womb of Lamash to Gulpin Fort, Lone House. So, I think it's the ford across the Skunk River we've missed. Let's go take a look. <laughs> I mean, if it's that one, that makes it really simple. If not, which one could it have been? None of them. That's literally the one. Let's fix up our group. I was playing around with some of the other characters just to see what they could do. Let's grab Canera, Amiri, Knock Knock, Lindsay. Alright. We're probably never going to use our other kineticists. I'm pretty sure that um, Canera is going to survive until the end of the game. There are a couple characters I'm not 100% sure that are going to survive, like Ragongar and Octavia. I'm pretty sure one or both of them are going to die. I have no guarantees that either of them are going to survive this whole turn of events. But, in the event that they do... Then I don't do my Sword Saint either, because Rakongar can be our Sword Saint. Or no, he's an Elder Scion. He's different, never mind. We have a Sword Saint and an Elder Scion. We'll probably use the Elder Scion, because dragons are cool. Did we actually just not grab it? Was it here the whole time? Does anyone want to pick it up, or...? Well... <laughs> okay, that takes care of that one. Let's figure out where the next piece is. Alright, the Melted Ring, there are lots of them. Unfortunately, there are 12, I believe. And we have 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We do. Okay, first one, Bridge Over the Gudrun River. There's one... Actually, there's a couple in certain areas, but... Bridge Over the Gudrun River, done. There's two of them from the bridge over the Gudrun area, area, which we don't have the second one. All right, that takes care of that one too. We're going to the bridge over the Gudrun River. Let's see if we can find that other one. Hopefully, it's there. It would be kind of nice and convenient if it was. We can finish this up in like a couple minutes. And then the last one is going to be the ruined covered scraps that we're missing. I think just one of those as well. Where is the bridge over the Goodwin River? Over there. Nine hour walk. So it's one of two of these. Hopefully we can figure out which one. Both of them in the north though luckily. One near the northwest entrance and one near the northeast part of the map. Apparently. This might be another case that I saw it and just didn't pick it up. We have one loot there and another loot right beside us. I'm guessing that's going to be this one. Sure is. What is this? Let's go check this out before we go any further in case it's something important. Judging by my proclivity for leaving things behind, it is no, well, it's not important, but whatever. Were any of these loot? I mean, they are technically loot, but it's just like goblins and junk. All right. Well, let's go find the rune-covered ancient rune-covered ancient leather scrap. The last one we need. Let's start from the top. Swamp ruins. 
Swamp Ruins. Any other Swamp Ruins ones? So there should be two from the Swamp Ruins. And there are both of those. Okay, good. Tenacious March. Or Marsh, I should say. Tenacious Marsh, is there just one? Yep. Okay, Verdant Chamber. And we know which one it is. Perfect. We're going to get all these done really fast. The Verdant Chamber has the one we missed. Probably because, well, no, our character's pretty good at uh, perception. Don't know how we missed it. Unless we're busy fighting for our lives and I didn't pay attention. Which does sometimes happen. Where are the Verdant Chambers? They're a million miles away. One day, six hours of journeying across the land. Stop. All right, we've arrived. We'll rest after this. Actually, we'll just rest when we get back to the capital, probably, in all fairness. But first, we must go grab our one remaining scrap. And then we're going to get those three items, and I'll show you what they do. And then we'll be done with them. What about the dwarf and helm? Oh, no, we got the trailblazers. Not, not tired. Helmet, right? Legs weak. I'm not certain that. she's wearing it. Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Okay. It's not immediately clear where it is. Um. We'll look around. Gotta be around here, you would think, somewhere. I heard a ding. And there it is. Perfect. So we did find all three of the things we were looking for. With relative ease. It's a good thing I didn't just flat out miss that one before. It was actually off to the side to an area I didn't really look all that closely at. And now we can go finish up all those artifacts. Three new items for us. One is somewhat worth using, I think. And I don't think the other two are particularly useful. But we'll find out. Because I can't remember what the uh, ruined scraps give you in the end. We do have all the pieces now. I think this is the last. These are the last artifacts we need as well. Uh, as for the random items like the dryad tokens and stuff like that, there are so many of them that I don't even. And they vanish when you turn them in. I don't think they're worth. Like they're not storyline related type stuff, so I don't think they stick around after you turn them in. I think they just you just turn them in for money. I think they're only worth money. I hope because otherwise. We might be screwed, because we turned them all in and I'm not going to all the places where they could possibly be. Would be nice, don't you oh, think? he's back. What's he going to give us? A gift. Thank you. See you. He's really only useful for the Earthbreaker he gave us, but that's fine. Swift Blow is what he gave us, which is a plus four great sword with greater shock. Not super important. I found shards of an ancient artifact. The shards are all that remain of the four Saints Bracers. I would be honored to restore them to the rightful glory and uncover the story. Again, the shards of the Ring of Reckless Courage and the scrap or the armor of Saber Toothed Courage. Alright, let's restore the Forest Knight Bracers. A nobleman once wore these bracers, and he was not the only to do so. Restoring them would take or would be an honor for any master. I shall impart a remnant of my gift in them to ensure this artifact story lasts forever. I cannot let it be forgotten. And the Ring of Reckless Courage. Luck is a fickle partner. You may think yourself her favorite person while she sits and conspires to trick you. I will impart to into my gift within the ring, so you can recall the story. And finally, the last one is... 
the armor of Sabretooth Courage. Century by century, aeon by aeon, the Numerian tribes went to war, without fear, without doubt, submitting themselves to Gorham's will and their own thirst for glory. This armor is much older than even Armag himself. The ancient Armag, that is. The one who once challenged Phrasma. What can this artifact tell us? I will infuse it with a piece of my gift, and it will reveal its story. And there we go, we have all the items. Which actually clears up a bunch of inventory space, not that there's actually a limit, but it does just help things a little bit. Let's go date newest to oldest. First of all, Ring of Reckless Courage, plus four enhancement bonus to Charisma, plus four to Stealth and Trickery, plus four to attack rolls made to confirm critical hits, and plus two to the DC of mind affecting spells cast by the wearer. However, it also gives a negative two wisdom, negative four to perception, negative two to wills saving throws in general, and negative 10 to all saving throws against traps. Whenever they get hit by a critical hit, they become confused for 1d4 rounds, which is awful. The Force Knights Breakers Bracers are plus 2 morale bonus to attack rolls, saving throws, and skill checks for the same duration. Uh, that's whenever a person becomes shaken. However, if you are shaken, the effect is negated, which is kind of neat. Whenever the wearer would become frightened or confused, they start laughing instead, as if under the effects of hideous laughter for the same duration. Uh, it also gives the wearer the ability to use freedom of movement for one minute per day, and whenever a fae successfully hits the wearer, that fae has to make a will save or become frightened for 1d4 rounds. And the last thing is plus 5 hide armor, with the ability to turn into a smilodon at will. While in this form, their natural weapons get plus 5 enhancement bonus. And that's it! That's all of the artifacts that we have in the game so far. And that's all we're gonna do for now. I guess we're gonna keep ruling until something comes up that we can do. I'll be back as soon as possible. At long last, it is finally time to go deal with the Bald Hilltop. It took forever. There's a whole lot of events that happened. Nothing really exciting, honestly. But finally, Bald Hilltop, it's time. Time to go finish off Nerissa's greatest forces. Allegedly. Now we just play the waiting game. We've all of our spells on. <clears throat> Excuse me, we've all of our spells on. My voice is slowly dying today. But it will be fine. It'll hold up for the last part of this video, probably. No guarantees. Let's save here. Because you never know what's going to happen. And also, our formation is royally screwed up. So let's deal with that too. It's actually not that bad. Now that I, you know what? We can actually move this around a little bit more. Because. We have. Uh, no second smell it on anymore. How does that seem slightly different? There we go. That looks pretty good. It's like a little shield. Let's form up. Maybe we should put Valerie way in the front. Maybe we're like, we keep our group really close together. Which is not exactly ideal for surviving any major ambushes. That's as far forward as she can go, apparently. Alright. Let's move everyone back just a tiny bit. There. Alright, good enough. Oh, more wild hunt. Oh, that's awful. How bad did it happen? So some people got in saving throw problems, and they are paralyzed. Who got paralyzed? Uh, looks like maybe Amiri and Lindsay and Canera. Canera's fine. Knock, knock, you still lighting everything on fire first. We are going to use our big... No, that's not what I meant to do. Well, that sucks. Next turn, we'll use our big thing, because apparently this turn... We did something bad. Alright, uh, we need to put on the trippy. Only one of them fell. I wonder what that ability even is. Crystal something. 
All right, well, five foot step in. Almost killed it. Lindsay's gonna haste us. She's not dead, which is a good start to the fight. And Amiri can just walk up and smack that one as well, which killed it immediately. Valerie can come around this side and not quite get tripped, which is good. Which means knock knock. Well, I was hoping he'd get in there, but he couldn't. All right, now we can finally do our barrier. Should offer us a little bit of protection in the upcoming fight. Are we using Earth? Yeah, we are. No, Lindsay, don't die. Okay, we'll heal her next turn with obviously our main character. But in the meantime, we'll just shoot one to death. I'm going to just delay. And we'll cast heal. Keep Lindsay alive. I was kind of hoping new ones would be appearing, but apparently that's not the case. Why does it get two attacks when it stands up? Are there swift actions or something? Probably. You it. Not dead yet. Maybe our main character can finish it off. Oh my god, he might actually be able to pull it off. Okay, we have Vildaraven and... There's two Vildaravens. One of them has already fallen down, though. Can we hit both? Yes. Barely. But we can't do it yet this turn. What the hell? How did I shoot him? I'm so confused as to why I shot him. Okay, whatever. Did I misclick? I don't think I even clicked my mouse. Weird. Anyways, five foot step, make sure we're in range. Why are we only hitting once a turn? We have haste on. Are we shaken? Fatigued? I mean, we're paralyzed. Does paralyzed take place over range attacks? It is possible, I guess. We need to heal. Knock, knock. Luckily, we have just all the healing that we need. Right here. We're just destroying that guy. I'm gonna five foot seven, knock, knock this way. They are fast. They go down! Okay, everyone's in position. There's a lesser Jabberwock here. That has appeared and is knocked it down immediately. Good. I guess we need to start shooting. We are not doing very much- oh yeah, we do. We're doing quite a bit of damage. Never mind, I lied. We really are. And Valerie should hopefully be able to finish it off. She is pretty powerful. And Knock Knock can get in on this Jabberwock. Which has taken some damage. But is not by any measure dead. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh well. Canera, can you knock this thing down again, please? The answer to that is a stern no. Oh, it is down. Never mind. I lied. It did fall down. 
Not trying to use to get out of that damage thing, but whatever. And that's it. Oh, everyone just ran in. That was my bad. Everyone, no, get back out. Everyone just come over here. That means you too, Knock Knock. Why is Knock Knock... Knock Knock is confused. And he is going to kill our main character. Everyone get away from Knock Knock. You good? Me? Alright, good. Everyone's fine. A bunch of Keen Felchin plus fives, and a skin of Jabberwock. Arsmilodon did die horribly. These things happen. But now we should be able to open this portal, in theory. Whenever this loads. The first time we don't have a quest there, but we do have kingdom stuff to do. Let's see if the throne room brings us any answers to this bald hilltop situation. No, not yet, anyways. Alright, well, I'll restart the video. Actually, we'll start a new video when we reach the point where something happens. And then we can finally go into the house at the end of time, I believe. So, stay tuned for that. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.